Hi guys, my name is Abby Bowman and I'm an environmental scientist with ADEM. I've been working here for one year in the recycling division with Blake. Hi guys, I'm Blake Schmidt. I too am an environmental scientist here at ADEM and I've been in the recycling unit for three years. Today, we're going to talk to you guys about the three R's of recycling. The three R's are reduce, reuse, recycle. The first R, reduce, uh, is defined as reducing the amount of waste that you produce in your household. Abby is now going to give you some examples of how you can reduce. Some of the easiest ways that you can reduce at home is by buying in bulk. So instead of buying individual rolls of toilet paper or paper towels, you can buy those items in bulk. You can also try to find items that wouldn't generate a lot of waste initially, so items that aren't wrapped in a lot of plastic. Some of the best ways that you can reduce is actually to reuse, which is our second R. That's right. Our second R is reuse. And simply put, all you have to do is use something more than once. Abby's going to give you some ideas on how you can reuse. So there are several ways that you can reuse household items or you can get items like this, a reusable grocery bag for whenever you go to Walmart or the grocery store instead of using plastic film bags. You can also get reusable water bottles. But if you don't want to buy something, you can just reuse your water bottle. Or another way that you can reuse is food containers at home. You can just put different stuff in them when you're done with them and you wash them out. The R that you're probably most familiar with is to recycle. And recycling is taking something and making it into something else and using it for something new. Here we have one of our bags that we offer at some of our ADEM events, which is made out of recycled plastic. So they take the plastic, they recycle it, and they weave it into this bag. There are lots of things that you can recycle, like paper, cardboard, aluminum, steel cans, and even things like this plastic bottle. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you some examples of how you can use this and how this is process is done. So the very first part of the process is your responsibility, and that is to put your recycling in the recycling bin. But Blake, is there anything we need to do before we put it in the recycling bin? That's right. First off, the, the most important thing I would say, Abby, would be to check with your local officials and make sure that curbside recycling is available to you. Um, if that's something that uh, is available, then definitely put it there. Your community may have a local drop-off center that you can use. Feel free to utilize that. And also, make sure that you know uh, what your community can recycle. Now, as far as the individual bottle itself, there are things we can do to this as well. One thing would be to remove the film here that is on this bottle. Another thing would be maybe to clean it out. If it wasn't a water bottle, let's say it was a milk jug, clean it out. We don't want contaminated materials going through our local recycling centers. Now, what we're going to do now is going to show you the process. So we know the first process is putting it into the bin. Uh, this is going to be transported to your local facility where it may or may not be sorted. However, we're going to use this as an example this time. So this is going to go into the recycling center as a bottle. The next step is it's going to be shredded up into a material that looks similar to that. Very rough material. Now, after it's in been shredded into the rough material, it's going to be refined into a finer pellet. And this pellet can be used to make new plastic products. Products such as carpet or clothing or the bag that Abby showed you uh, earlier or new bottles. When it's made, as, when it's going to be used as new bottles, it's going to be made into something like this to begin with. So it's made of, you see the familiar bottle top, and it's going to be ballooned up like this, and then it's going to blow up into a new bottle, and it's going to come out as a new plastic bottle. So guys, today we've learned about the three R's of recycling. That's reduce, reuse, recycle. What are those again, Abby? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. You guys say them with us. Reduce, reduce reuse, reuse, recycle. recycle. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.